Hey, Basil and Will from Grayson Hobby, and today we're gonna go over the Eachine QX90C. Ah. <laughs> I, I don't know, I closed my eyes. So here we are, we have the QX90C, and we're gonna have three different versions. We have the Spectrum DSM-X, or DSM-2, right? DSM-2. DSM-2. The Fly Sky, which is gonna be your radio that comes with most of the ESG models. And we're gonna have the FR Sky, or the Tyrannus, and Bond and Flies. Um, so it means you have to provide your own radio. And we will have a package, link below, with the Ready to Fly for the Fly Sky 10 channel. Yeah, I already put the prop guard. So this looks a little weird, because why? Because we include the prop guard. Right, because? Um, yeah, so the, our model's gonna include a free prop guard or motor frame protection or whatever. I don't know they call it, a bunch of different names, but it's gonna come with this free charge. I'm not even going on. Oh! All right, see, perfect example. Perfect example. We hit the little... The wizard got we hit, jealous. We hit the wizard, yeah. wizard got jealous. Wiz not my fault, it was the wizard. Wiz I saw him throw that arm out there and trip him. Yep. So the wizard tripped the little QX90C and notice nothing. No damage right there at all. Until you keep throwing it. Until <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, I want to make this to where we could use it both inside and outside. The biggest comparison we get is with the QX70. Um, between the, this and the QX70, everybody likes the QX70 because it's got the bird cage on it, or the, the ducks, like the Inductrix. Um, this right here, having the cage around it, gives you the ability to fly it in the house and all, not worry about damaging anything, because usually if you hit some throw a prop. But it also strengthens the frame a little bit for learning and all that, so it gives you the ability to learn with the quad and then progress from there. But that makes the QX90 better for backyard flying with a little bit of indoor, whereas the QX70 is better for indoor flying with a little bit of outdoor right. flying. The QX70 only with the Grayson prop mod is going to be good flyer, not out of yeah, the box. Yeah, out of the box right? QX70 on the QX70. So out of the box, how is the QX90C? QX90 out of the box, definitely got more power on it out of the box. The, the 90C um, they're using the larger uh, Walkera Ladybird style props from Eachine. Um, so which, which we have extras on our site. Yeah, we'll have extras available. Link is right here. Basically, we're also using the plug-in configuration. This is one of the reasons we're getting away from the regular QX90 for the moment. Um, just like the QX70, all the motor leads plug into the flight controller. That's great because if you ever burn up a motor, well, guess what? It comes with two extra motors but it has the wire plug on it versus having to solder. So this is a no solder repair kind of thing. Which is awesome. Yes, um, soldering little wire is not the greatest thing if all you have is a Walmart soldering iron. Just remember there's two motors, clockwise, counterclockwise, um, here. So look at the colors. Gray bottom and a white bottom. That may vary from batch to batch, but the wire is usually what gives it away. So when you go to change your motors, Make sure if it's got the black and white wire or the blue and red, you change the same one. You can't mix and match, otherwise they'll burn up really quick. Right. Also, the flight controller on these are integrated with the receiver. So if you have Spectrum, FR Sky, or Fly Sky, you have a specific model again. You can't just change the receivers in and out, but that would require soldering anyway, so better just have it all in one. Um, in my opinion, it gets the weight down and makes it e just easier to work with. Camera's the same as the QX90, QX95, from what I can tell. Battery's using a 600 milliamp one cell. So yeah, 600 milliamp link one is, cell lipo. We'll link have those available is also. In the box, so everything's laid out on the countertop right here. Two spare motors, you got a clockwise, counterclockwise, you got your one cell charger. The battery's generally already in the quad. Um, you get an extra set of props, a little prop wrench, which you'll need to pop the props off to put the cage on. Again, the cage doesn't come with the cage pre-installed, but we'll include that separately as well. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. And then, an, yet again, Eachine surprising us with an actual manual. Awesomeness. Spectrum 1, you'll need to also set your endpoints in the clean flight, and you also probably have to reverse two channels on a Spectrum radio. It depends on which one you're using. Um, but directions are here, so... It'll get you bound and all that. It, this one, unlike the QX70, another little feature on the Spectrum 1, uh, it has an auto bind. I'm actually using the Spectrum one myself. If you plug in the battery and don't have the transmitter on and bound, 
um, it's going to go into auto bind, similar like um, an ultra micro from Horizon or something like that. Oh, okay. So it's the same kind of concept where you can auto bind it. You don't have to do the command line binding like you would with the QX70. Oh, so that's so too, too might be a little easier to get yeah. going if you've never done anything before with Spectrum. But you do have to connect to the computer and set up a couple things real quick before you get going. Gotcha. One difference I see right here, we cut that out. Yes. Because that was in the way, if you notice the camera right here, that was in the way. They show mm -hmm. us how easy it is to replace the, or to install. Okay, well let's pretend these these guards are already, already yeah. on. So comes with a little prop guard, you basically go underneath and these things will fling somewhere in a second, so hold on. If I can get, there you go, there's one yep, prop there's going one. flying. All right, All right next so. to the wizard. These are clockwise and counterclockwise props, so you, when you take them apart in, this, in the location where they belong, so when you install them, you put them back in the right spot. Yeah. So that's gonna go there. So you just put the tool underneath, and you know, I make it look difficult at first, but all you gotta do is put the tool underneath. All right, so there's our props. We have all our four props off. <laughs> uh, we separated each of the props to where they belong. Yeah. So, so I know this is front, this is back. Um, yeah. Lay down on your table. Well, to put the prop guard in, um, I would recommend not cutting until you put it together, if right. you want to cut it. Some people don't. Fly it a few times, and if you don't like it, you don't like Well, is there an up or down? I guess those little tabs go up, right? Yeah, you gotta cut out there. Yeah, so if you look at these little tabs right there. Yeah, tabs go up. Tabs go up. So pretty much just kind of line it up so, and um, basically just kind of. So it's already pop measured it and it popped right on. Yeah, they're already the right size. So just kind of put your finger behind the back side of it so you don't push the motor through and pull the wire out. You just kind of press it on. Again, all I'm doing is putting my finger behind that and then press it down. It makes no sense flying without a prop guard because if I'm gonna crash into my house or my kids or the billions of shells we have, we have around here. I'm breaking something because I'm very good at breaking parts. <laughs> and one, right. one thing to note too here, take a look at this. Yep. When you're putting the prop on, um, basically again, put your hand under the bottom side, push the prop on. You don't want to press it all the way down to the bottoms out because you don't want the motor running. You should still be able to oop, flip the motor and it spin fairly easy. If it's, you know, if it's barely moving, then you got it too tight. Um, you just want to make sure that so you don't have extra friction and burn up a motor. Right. Say you turn this the wrong way, well, your prop guard's going to hit, so you got to make sure these are all rotated right and then press right. them on. So now we're going to give you a quick test flight of in our little tiny showroom. That You saw the QX70 fly. Yeah, it's going to be tight in here. A little quick video with it flying with a uncut prop guard. This part's in the way right here, so I cut it out um, in the front. One re another reason to cut it out, it gives you the ability to move these guards around a little bit so it clears better on the props. Without it, they tend to pinch a little bit and it it'll, it'll, uh, seems like it, you'll get more likely to get prop rub. More importantly, the functionality, as you can actually see, yeah, it's like looking like this. Yeah, another thing, um, the standard Hubson 107 props, the, you, you the like round tip. Why are you laughing at me? I don't know. <laughs> half throttle. Half throttle. Whoa! There you go. That was nope. You're good. Nope. Well, I'm trying. I guess you would be good if you didn't keep crashing. There we go. Look at that. Prop guard saver. Wow, that thing is hauling butt, man. That is. Yes, much faster. Look, the range is pretty good too. So this is a great, um, more beginner, slight little bit of quad experience probably. Um, it's definitely, it's got more power than your Hubsons and toy quads and all that for sure. Does it have more power than the QX70? Yes, this has more power than the QX70. Uh, side by side, this one's definitely got more power on it. Um, even with the prop mod on the QX70, this has more grunt. And that's why I said this is probably more for a backyard flyer with indoor flying versus an indoor flyer with some backyard flying. But if you're gonna do any backyard flying or if you got a larger house, anything like that, or more open areas in your house, um, then definitely the QX90 might have be the better choice for that one. Right, so I guess the question is, 
would this be for good for a brand new, never had, never flown a drone or flew the Phantom or something to the effect of that? I always you recommend. You're hesitating. So. Yes. Hold on one second. Um, that's where I recommend something like if you really want to get into it, and never flown before. These are HHC. That's a whole nother video though. Uh, this is more of a toy one. They're you know 30, 40 bucks max kind of thing with the radio, with and the radio and everything. Yeah. This is great to learn on, but if you can fly something like these, and there's several other companies that make them too, similar looking. If you can fly those, you should be able to fly these. The only difference is really, these go that next step to where you can connect in com computer, you can do um, and this air goes mode, active mode. 500 times faster than that guy. Oh yeah. I didn't even think about it. There is no screws to assemble this, no screws to lose. Uh, the QX90, I kept losing the little nylon screws and the little landing gear. That's an awesome point. I did not even think about that. I mean, it's double sided tape. You can change it out, whatever you want to do. Um, the battery just comes out, and got the little antenna here for the spectrum. You can move it around, do whatever you want with that. It's plug and play. I mean, I don't know. This, oh, shit. I, across the room. <laughs> I bet you that's 70 millimeters. I bet you that's 90 millimeters. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. All right, thanks for watching. Like us, the video, and subscribe below. We got more videos coming. We're going to show you how to bind the QX90C in the future to your Spectrum, FlySky, Tyrannus, whatever else we have out there. So subscribe, like below, and comment below about your flying experience with either one. Thanks.